if you're here, you're probably looking to factory reset your iPhone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to really factory reset your iPhone in three ways. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tenorshare. Whether you're planning to sell your iPhone, troubleshooting an issue, or just want a fresh start, here is a step-by-step -step guide just for you. So let's dive in. Before we jump into the reset process, there are a couple of important steps you need to take first. You need to back up your data if you still need them. You can back up in iCloud or in iTunes. If you don't have enough iCloud storage, backup in iTunes is free and has no storage limit. You can do it just on your computer. If your new phone is on the way and you don't have enough iCloud space, you can go to the transfer or reset page to get 21 days of free extra iCloud storage for transfer or you can transfer your data during the new iPhone setup process. Don't forget to sign out of your Apple ID. Tap your name. Scroll down and tap Sign Out. Enter your Apple ID password and you're good to go. This will avoid the activation lock and prevent the next owner from accessing your data. OK, now let's start with the easiest method, resetting your iPhone directly through the settings. The process is simple. Go to the Settings app, then to General. Scroll down and select Transfer or Reset iPhone. You can see the Prepare for New iPhone feature here. Tap on Erase, All Content and Settings. Then tap Continue and tap Erase iPhone. Then the Erase process will begin. You may find a different option in different iOS systems but the process is similar. Wait for the process to finish and your iPhone will be restored to its default settings. If your iPhone isn't responding or you're experiencing issues like a boot loop, you can restore your phone using Finder, iTunes or the Apple Devices app on your computer. The difference with a restore is that it removes all software from your iPhone, downloads a fresh copy and updates iOS at the same time. The three softwares are very similar in use. First, connect your phone to your computer. Then open the software that is available on your computer and go to the summary page and select Restore iPhone. And you can still back up your iPhone here if you want. Then it will download the firmware to restore your iPhone. This method is particularly useful if your iPhone is having software issues, as it installs the latest iOS version and resets your device to factory settings. It's a great way to fix stubborn problems. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.